CMDF, Combined Miniature Defense Force. Project Fantastic Voyage. Process Miniaturization. Authority, Top Secret, Highest Clearance. Team Jonathan Kidd, Commander. Guru, Master of Mysterious Powers. Erica Lane, Doctor, Biologist. Busby Birdwell, Scientist, Inventor, Builder of the Voyager. Mission, in their miniaturized form, to combat the unseen, unsuspected enemies of freedom. Time limit, 12 hours. You said it, but nothing can stop us now. We're going home. <laughs> Kent, hey, we're losing oxygen. Look. Look. Attention, emergency. Well, gentlemen. What are those strange crystals, sir? We aren't certain. But all indications are they may present a deadly threat to the Earth's oxygen supply. Your job will be to find out for sure, Mr. Kidd, and to render them harmless before the spacecraft reaches Earth. You will be reduced to one 150th size and radio beam through space to the capsule, since we cannot risk opening the hatches. You will have to find a way to enter through the jets. From then on, you are on your own. Any questions? No, sir. That is all. Good luck. We'll need it. Supplies all loaded, Busby? Yep, unless the great Swami forgot to pack his magic wand. Only fools muck things they do not understand. <laughs> He's right, Busby. Ah, I don't go for all that hocus-pocus stuff. It's not scientific. Attention. This is Dr. Calvin Caston. The noted expert on interstellar biology. He's agreed to join us on this mission. Glad to have you aboard, Doctor. It is my pleasure, Mr. Kidd. Prepare to miniaturize. Activate process. Reduction complete. Open the skylight. Start beam. Hold tight, Doctor. Sometimes it jumps around a little bit. It's incredible. We must be going a hundred miles a second. 172.8 to be exact. What's that up there? It's a meteor shower. Watch it, Busby. Don't worry. We'll dodge them like they were standing still. Ha-ha! <laughs> you! <laughs> See, there's nothing to it. Oh, no! We're off the beam! <laughs> the scanner. Got to turn on the scanner. Quick thinking, Jonathan. I'm just in time. That's the space capsule ahead, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Come in, Professor Carter. Carter here. We've sighted the capsule. We'll take it from here. Right. Be careful. Holy cow! How are we supposed to go through there? We'll be burned to a crisp. I will guide you in. Guide us in? How? He who understands the flame will not be harmed by it. You see, in the center of each flame, there will always be a passage of pure light. 
He slipped his turban. That's the craziest idea I ever heard. Ha! Passages and planes, my foot. Well, have you got a better idea? No, but... It's all yours, Guru. Prepare to enter. Turn the ship in. Slowly. Slowly. This is scientifically impossible. Steady. We made it. Thanks to Guru. There must be an explanation. And I'll find it sooner or later. We'll make it later, Busby. It's time for the hard part of our job. We've got to locate those crystals. Well, you look for them. Dr. Kasdan and I had better examine the astronauts. Right. Take her down, Busby. Let's get to work. I sure wouldn't want to get spotted by any of those flying mothballs. I can't see anything. We'll make another circle. They must be here somewhere. He's still alive. He won't be for long. He's barely getting enough oxygen to survive. Dr. Kasdan? Dr. Kasdan? <gasps> oh! No! Help! Help! Now, where the devil? Hey, down there! It's Erica! It's the crystals, and they're after her. Come on! It's gaining! I can't take a chance on destroying it. It might... anything might happen. That rope. Good throw. Were you a man? It just split in two. Thanks, Jonathan. Well, at least that scared them off. I would say just the opposite, Mr. Kitt. There's the dock. Let's pick them up and beat it. Boy, that was close. We were lucky they missed you, Dr. Kasdan. I certainly was. Yes, exceedingly lucky. What are those things, Erica? Well, they're some kind of chemical compound with the power to draw oxygen out of a human body when they touch it. That's probably how they feed. And if these things ever reached Earth... They could wipe out an entire nation in a matter of days. We've either got to destroy them or seal them off before we reach Earth. If we're going to save those two astronauts... Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Head for that test tube. What are you going to do? Try to get the crystals into the tube, then seal it. This oxygen ought to attract them. Bullseye! It's working! Now we'll have to go out and get to the top. I'll go with you. That figures. Oh. We'll need one more. I think I'd rather stay aboard, Mr. Kidd. I wouldn't be much use, I'm afraid. Looks like you're elected, Guru. Lower the chains, Busby. There they go. Make him tight. Very clever, Mr. Kidd. What a shame. What did you say? Uh, nothing. Take it up, Busby. A little more. Perfect. Good. Now seal it. Does it? Okay, Busby. Busby, come in. Uh, 
Crosby is coming, Mr. Kidd, but not the way you think. It's coming off me fast. Get down. It must be. Dr. Kasdan? Yes, as I feared. Dr. Kasdan is a traitor. On, Professor. I've lost the picture. I don't know, sir. The signals are being jammed. Jammed? But why? Why? Oh. Oh, my aching back. You're lucky you've still got one. That pad broke your fall. What do you think you're doing, Castan? Just following orders, Mr. Kidd, like you. Except that my orders come from a different government. <laughs> My job is to make sure this capsule crashes in your country's territory. And when it does, <laughs> the crystals will take care of the rest. And I'll even show you a preview of how the plan will work. <laughs> What's he mean? I'm afraid I know. Run! The crystals are loose. We'll be safe here for a moment, but we've got to find a way out of this mess. If only we could communicate with headquarters. We can't, but what's worse, Kazdan can. Any luck, Professor? Not yet, sir. The capsule's getting nearer to Earth. If we don't hear soon, we'll have to take action. This is the Voyager. Come in. Oh, it's them. Uh, this is Carter. Uh, come in. Uh, what happened? We lost contact for a while. Just a little mechanical trouble. Uh, Mr. Kidd asked me to tell you everything is under control. Where is Kidd? You'll never know that, my dear colleague. What? I can't hear you. <sighs> it's out again. But at least we know they're all right, sir. It would seem so. Keep me informed. Uh-oh, they're coming this way. Stay low. No fear hiding now. In there, hurry. Where are we? This looks like tape recording equipment. <gasps> Look, we're trapped. They're up there, too. Where's Jonathan? Over here. Watch out. I'm turning this thing on. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Erica, look out. Woo. Come on, this way. Got to get away. There'll be no escape this time, Mr. Kidd. Jonathan! Wow! See, Houdini? That's the scientific way. Blast it! I'll get them! Boston, temporarily. What is this now? It's the main outside communications cable. Hmm. I wonder. You know, I just might be able to break into it. And send a code message back to Earth? Can you do it, Busby? We'll soon find out. Lay it open, kid. Now, what's the message? Tell them to destroy this capsule immediately. Destroy us? Yes, it's our lives or the whole country's. Get to work, Busby. Yes, sir. I'm 
getting something now. But it's in coal. <laughs> He's bound to spot us soon. Do you have the message yet? It's just been decoded. Destroy capsule immediately. Kid, destroy capsule? But that means they'll be destroyed too. Yes. Give the orders, Professor. But, sir... The capsule will reach the Earth's atmosphere in 15 minutes. Kid knows his job, Professor. It must be destroyed before then. Yes, sir. Come on, we can't stay in here. I don't see anything yet. What is that, Mr. Kitt? A ventilation exhaust. And there's a switch. The crystals, they've spotted us. It's a chance in a million, but maybe... Stop wasting time! Go on! Only he makes it in time. And Kazdan doesn't notice him. Eleven minutes until we enter the Earth's atmosphere. And then it won't matter where Kid is hiding. <laughs> be careful, Jonathan. Careful? This is no time to be careful. Seven minutes, Professor. I know, I know. Don't fall. He made it. The rest is a cinch. Don't forget, we've got a few problems of our own. Six minutes. What's that? The crystals. Why are they? There they are. But where's Kid? He's after the exhaust. We'll soon stop that, my dear Mr. Kid. Look, it's the Voyager. He has got a chance. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Mr. Kid. Blast it! Why doesn't it fire? Four minutes. Thank goodness the chamber's empty. Wait, what's he doing now? He's trying to ram him. Do something, Guru. I shall try. This time I won't... Ah, ah, it, it can't be... I'm seeing things. It's impossible! Uh, which one are you? Which... That was close. That, Mr. Busby, is the non-scientific way. Three minutes. Uh-oh. Forgot about them. Let's go.